okay ANSYS has started and here is how the window looks um, so on top I have the utility menus where I can have file select list plot so on so forth and then here in the main menu I have the preprocessor solution general post processing and stuff uh, this main menu is basically where I will find commands to create models mesh and uh, define solution features or do post processing if I want to use the window and on the top I have the utility menus like I said here's the file you can clear everything and start a simulation from scratch you can change the job name and directory you can resume from previously saved files and also uh, read input from a file you can import geometry from other CAD software or export your geometry to other CAD uh, models Select is, based, is something that we will cover throughout the course, how to select certain nodes or certain entities. And list is basically you can list your nodes, areas, key points, as well as some of the results on boundary conditions and forces. Uh, you can plot things in here. You can plot key points, lines, and areas as you wish. Plot control is something that we will come to very often throughout the course. Um, one of the features here is the style colors and in reverse video which basically what it does is changes the coloring of the graphics part of the window so previously it had black background with white text on it but I can change it to white background with black text on it basically reverse the colors it's just the preference but if I want to plot anything from this window uh, with the white background, I will lose. Or I will save more ink uh, on my printer. And then there is numbering and symbols that again we'll cover throughout the course. There's a work plane. Uh, you can change the uh, active coordinate system to Cartesian, cylindrical, spherical, and multiple other. You can define parameters. Well, basically, APDL stands for ANSYS Parametric Design Language. And so what it means is that you can define parameters to use in your modeling, which is powerful. And if you have scalar parameters, you can click there and you would see the list of them and their values here. You can also have uh, arrays that will show up in this window. We don't have any yet, so nothing shows up in this window. And there are macros, menu controls um, that we won't uh, come to very often. And there's the help, help topics, uh, which we'll refer to a lot throughout the course. And ANSYS, uh, or about mechanical APDL, which basically tells us uh, the build, the version, and some more information about the software.